welcome to Canadian Home Workshop magazine. My name is Kathy Darampo and I'm a contributing editor to the magazine. Today I'd like to show you how to build a cross-cutting sled, also known as a table saw sled. The first thing you're going to need to do when making a cross-cutting sled is to get the proper material. Now I find Baltic birch is uh, one of the best plywood to use for this. It's very stable because the, the ply is very multi-plied or multi-layered so it creates a much more stable plywood than um, a cheaper form of plywood. Now this is just half inch plywood which is fine because you don't really want too much space between the throat plate and where your saw blade will come up which is this line here. For demonstration purposes I'm going to leave the line on the board. Now after you've found your piece of uh, birch plywood, you're going, to find, you're going to have to get some runners which fit into your miter slots. Now the best thing to use for this is a hardwood. I've got maple here and I have put this through the, the um, thickness planer so that it fits just shy of the top of your table saw. So we're going to put our runners in here. Now when you do go to put the piece of plywood on top, this isn't going to quite match up. So one little trick that you can use for that is simply to get a coin and it's just going to raise that runner enough so it's slightly proud of your tabletop surface. Then we're going to take some double sided tape and this is just an aid. This isn't necessary but I just find it makes this step, the process go a little bit quicker. And we're going to run some tape down there, peel it off and then once we set our plywood on top it's going to have a little bit of adhesion. It's not going to make it permanent, but it's just enough of adhesion so that you can put your screws in place. We're ready to put our plywood into position now. And we've got our runners in the, in the guides, as I'd shown you before. And we're going to just simply slide the table forward with the glides in position. I'm going to pull this down a bit. And I'm just going to countersink that so that the screw will be flush and it's not going to ride on the table saw itself. Take my screw and simply put that into position. And I'm going to put this nice and flush with the front of the, my plywood. Okay. Now we're just, I've already got this one screwed down and I'm just going to bring the piece back to the back once again get another screw and screw this into position as well. Once your runners are securely screwed into place we're going to make sure that it runs nicely in the set and if there is a little bit of tightness or stickiness you can simply take some sandpaper to the bottom and work that till it's nice and smooth. And furthermore, you could take a bit of soap or candle wax and just run it along the wood and that will create less friction for your board. We're not going to worry about that at the moment because they are nice and tight and you'd rather have a tight fit than a sloppy fit because you don't want it to be moving around or your pieces won't be cut nice and straight in the end. So here we have our front board and we're going to line this up and center it. Now I want these pieces higher than the height that the saw blade can possibly be so that there's no possible injury and you don't want to cut this in half or suddenly your jig is two pieces instead of the sled that it's meant to be. So we're going to line that up and push the sled forward. I'm going to just get my clamp, clamp this into piece. Now this isn't the most precise uh, worry at this moment because you're, not, you're never going to reference your, your cutting pieces to this front. It's the back board that we're going to really worry about. So yes, I am going to line this up flush, but I'm not going to worry about squaring it up necessarily. Of course you can, but it's not, it's not necessary. Just come across this side. I'm going to countersink my screw. Change bits. and carry on to the other side, do the same thing. Now we can come around to the back and do the more important part of this set. We're going to draw this back, get our piece of wood. This is best to be a hardwood as well. I'm going to center line this again. It's more aesthetic than anything, but 
What I don't want, once again, is for this to go beyond the edge of the plywood. Now we're going to run this through with the blade. The blade will be raised at this point, and we're going to run this through the table saw blade. And this line is representing where the blade will come through onto the table saw sled. Once your blade is up, protruding through, you can lower the blade once again. You're going to take your square and line the square up with your back piece. Now this is the most critical part of the entire sled because if this is off square, all of your pieces running through the blade will obviously be off square. So make sure you get this nice and square. Zap. Now we're going to pull this back, ensuring that this stays nice and square, and secure this one screw at the end. And then we're going to secure it with a number eight screw again. You can run a bead of glue along this just to be sure that it's nice and snug. So there you have your table saw cross cutting sled. Thanks very much for watching and stay tuned for more Canadian Home Workshop video tips.